This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Madeline Adderley. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Cincinnati police have arrested a 14-year-old boy charged with a deadly shooting in Over the Rhine. Detectives arrested the teen this morning on a murder warrant for the death of 15-year-old Sean Lewis. Lewis was shot Friday night near Main and Orchard Streets and later died at Cincinnati Children's. We're not naming the suspect at this time due to his age. We're learning more about a deadly shooting last night in Lincoln Heights. Hamilton County deputies found a man shot dead on the front porch of a home on Chamberlain Avenue. It was around 930 last night. A neighbor who called 911 described hearing a crash followed by five gunshots. Police have not released the name or the age of that victim. There's currently no word on any suspects or arrests. We are digging into this story and we'll have more starting at 4. Cincinnati police want you to be on the lookout for a man who has been missing since Saturday night, and police say he could be in danger. 87-year-old Henry Parker walked away from his home on Kleinview and Dexter and Evanston. He's 6 feet 5 inches tall and walks with a cane. Now, he was last seen wearing a purple button-up shirt with gray slacks and black dress shoes. Parker was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and dementia. CPD says he's in need of daily medication, and that's why there is such a rush here to find him. Bengals fans are already gearing up for Sunday's game against the New York Jets. Gold Star Chili will host a pep rally tonight at their Mitchell Avenue location. That starts at 5.30. Fans can enjoy dinner and get pictures and autographs from Who Day. Gold Star says they're going to be holding a pep rally every week this season at different locations across the tri-state. Certainly a warm night for it, Brandon. Yeah, very warm night. It's going to feel like summer out there today and tomorrow. 87 a day, mostly sunny with a feels like temperature as hot as 90. 66 overnight, still some patchy fog possible as we wake up again on Wednesday. Wednesday, likely mark it down as our final day at 90 degrees in 2022. We're going to be dealing with 91, but it feels closer to 97. Then storms come in late into the evening and then overnight into Thursday. That storm front coming with a cold front, and that is really going to live up to its name. A major change as we get towards the end of the week. A 36-hour temperature change of about 45 to 50 degrees. Wednesday, 91. Friday morning, mid-40s.